The Cadillac Regional Police Force of Northern Quebec has been without a funding agreement for almost a year. Can you tell us what's taking so long? Uh, the, the, uh, the, the funding uh, for the First Nations Policing Program uh, was, uh, was put into place uh, uh, in the budgets of uh, last year and the year before. Uh, we have been uh, uh, working with our provincial partners in all of these cases because they are, uh, they are tripartite agreements involving, involving the provinces as well. Uh, and then with each one of the First Nations across the country. Uh, the, uh, the, the process is ongoing. We have made sure that the federal money is available. Uh, but obviously, the agreements need to be finalized. They say it's not enough money, and they need more officers in order well, to. Well, we have we we have put into the the uh, uh, the funding envelope this year the largest increase in uh, support federal support for the First Nations policing program ever in Canadian history. Uh, it's an increment of 291 million dollars on top of the base funding that is there. That will allow for the for the uh, hiring of new police officers. It will allow for that's 300 officers for 180 some odd First Nations. That breaks down to not that many when they say well, they need upwards of 30. Th th as I say, this is the biggest increase in the First Nations policing program in 30 years. We will build on that as we go forward. Uh, but first of all, we need to get we need to get this stage of funding uh, implemented, and then we will move forward from there. We're adding infrastructure dollars on top of that for uh, for uh, infrastructure uh, related to public security in remote locations across the country. So we are we are taking this in a stepwise approach, building on what is there from from previous years, adding $291 million for more officers and for better sa salaries and for more, more secure working conditions. We're adding another $88 million on top of that for infrastructure. Uh, and we will uh, continue to work to expand the program to make it as effective as it possibly can be. But before you, you, uh, uh, you move on to the next stage, you need to implement uh, what we put on the table thus far. It's an important increment. $291 million. Let's get that implemented and then we'll move forward beyond that. It's taken over a year to implement it. Well, we are negotiating in good faith with our provincial partners and with the First Nations involved to make sure that we get, we're, we're ready to be at the table uh, to, to settle this uh, and to get on with it. But the money is there. It, it's, uh, it's been, it's been uh, uh, written into two federal budgets. And now the, the next step is to settle the, uh, the actual agreements so we can move that far and then we'll continue the process. Thank you. Thank you.